What up, what up, what up? Yo, what's up, Michael? How you doing, homie? What is up, genie of the lamp in the house? Uh, we got Nikolai, we got everyone in here just kind of popping in in a second. What up, genie in the lamp? I saw you on the Discord yesterday. <laughs> Did you guys have a good weekend? Oh, shit, everyone's piling in now. What's up, man? You guys have a good night? Hope you guys had a good weekend out there painting, doing your thing. Uh, I saw that DeMar, DeMar Hamlin is out walking. I don't know if he's walking, but he's talking. He's up and at him. I'm very happy for him and his family, man. That's good to hear, man. And the Buffalo Bills won, too. Big ups to the Buffalo Bills. They're going, they're going to the playoffs, I think, now, too. Big ups. Anyways, it was nice to see that, you know. A lot, a lot of negativity in this world, so it's good to see someone that got into bad situations, getting all the help they need. I mean, they should help him. They got a lot of money. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Glow? How you doing? Uh, Brian in the house. We got Panda in the house all the way from Germany. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Oh, I, I didn't write Padma. I wrote Padme. Oh, shit. Someone should write Padme. That actually be sick. He went mobbing and got caught in the rain. Bro, it's raining so much out here, bro. Hello from Zimbabwe? No way. You trolling me. Are you trolling me, homie? I hope you're, I hope you're in Zimbabwe. That'd be sick. Shout out to the Zimbabwe homies. Hope you're out there getting up. Milwaukee in the house. Glow HBK. We are listening to Max Minimal Techno Escalation. Homie says he doesn't like sand. <laughs> What up, Joshua? How you doing, homie? Anyways, uh, I'm glad you guys are here. I got a very special video for you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys things situated here. Let's get this thing situate, situated. Oh shit. Big ups from Modesto. Well, if you are here from Modesto, you're gonna see some Modesto graffiti from like 1990 to 1993-ish, I would say, when this stuff was from. Uh, Cess and Chino video. Yes, very good question. Uh, my biggest issue with the Chino video is the audio is really bad. Now, I have a person here named Vivian who's been very helpful with me. Uh, very smart young lady. So she may be able to help me fix the audio on the Chino video. I have the Cess video done, ready to do the interview. Uh, but one of my coworkers here thought it was a little too real and I have to re-edit it, whatever that means. So you, you've tried to figure that one out yourself. Uh, I want things to be real. That's how I do it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Booba. Yes, there is some Booba. How long would you say the nib is? Uh, how long would you say that the nib on average of the eight millimeter? Yeah, they wear out pretty quick. I'd buy some extra nibs if I were you, especially if you're a prominent tagger. Um, okay, yeah. So this is some of my old sketches from when I was in high school. Uh, these are actually some of the first pieces I've ever drawn before I really knew much about piecing. And, uh, but I did have a good handle because I grew up in California and I was around a lot of writers back in the day. And uh, I was able to, you know, start at a little bit of a better perspective than some people maybe. Now this was before the internet. We didn't have the ability to look on Google and look at graffiti pictures and bite them. You know, you just kind of went out in the streets and saw what you liked and talked to people that inspired you and got you in motivated to do graffiti. And that's, that's how we did it back then. You know, we'd hang out and have black book sessions. There'd be like 10 dudes in a bedroom just drawn in black books all together, you know, drinking 40s, smoking weed. It was super cool. Total sausage fest, mind you. But there was a brotherhood that really existed back then that I don't see like it used to be, you know? Uh, anyway, so yes, these are some of my first pieces. Uh, I was writing when, W-E-N. The end's a little bit funky. You got a little bit lost in the sauce. This starts really good right here. I actually like that quite a bit. That W looks pretty nice. Um, it's kind of funny going back to some of these drawings. And this was actually a girl I dated, Gretchen. Her name was Gretchen. One of my first attempts at kind of like photorealistic drawing and stuff like that. But look at, look at the way that I used to see color as a kid. Like I was like 16 years old when I drew this. Look at the coloring, like how I colored her face. It's almost like Photoshop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on, so I got a question here. This is uh, Silas. How do I get Spanish Montana ink to flow through a pump action marker? Uh, I would go to where you bought the ink and uh, ask them because we don't sell Spanish Montana ink. Not that I wouldn't help you, but it's a bit of an interruption of me showcasing my artwork. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, it is one of my French girls. <laughs> This was also a win piece right here. And again, my, my ends would get really deconstructed back then. I was still trying to figure it out, but you can see I had the W and E like pretty well done. Although in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have put that line right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that kind of, that kind of loses the E, 
You feel me? You feel me? Um, but it's just cool to go back and look at this and the type of markers that we used to use back then. So anyways, this was the first page. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> oh yeah, what's up? What's up, uh, Nate? How you doing, homie? I used to write cube. Back in the day, I wrote cube because I'm Cuban. Uh, and I'd draw like these little kind of characters, these little bears and shit like that. And this was probably like 92, 93. Um, yeah, it's Black Book in Time. We're just kind of going through some of the oldies. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you know, I may go back to some of this stuff because I think I was onto something with some of these shapes. Like the way I would do my wild styles back then, they had they had something interesting going on, you know? And it is crazy, dude. There was, there was no internet. There was no way to figure this shit out. You had to know people, you know? Very, very cool. Anyways, let's let's move on to the next one. Uh, and I used to do these all the time. I would just do these free flowing wild style pages like this. And uh, hey, look at that. What are those? <laughs> I wonder what was on my mind back then. Oh, there's a little New York fat cap in there and stuff like that. Yeah, I should remake my style for 2023. I think you're absolutely right, homie. That would be kind of fun. Um, oh, and this is what I went through my tribal period. I was writing cube right here, but it was very like tribal tattoo kind of stuff when you think of like 90s, you know, but you can still see the cube in there as well too. Those are kind of interesting. Acer says my old style's better than now. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, Acer. <laughs> I mean, honestly, on these videos, I'm just doing simple stuff, but I, I get it. I feel you. Um, this was... Uh, these type of markers, they don't make them anymore. I wish they still did. These were the barrel. This was before Prismacolor was bought by Sanford and the barrel pencils were so much better back then. So much more smoother. And, uh, oh, you watch Star Wars? That's sick. Check it out, we got a little pilot marker in there. But I was getting so creative, you know, like doing the little drips off the cans, uh, these little like whoop-de-whoops, little bombs right there. You know what I mean? Just like trying different types of stuff, you know? It was a lot of fun. Check out that little Cholo dude. 90s Cholo dude with dreads. <laughs> yeah the fills are pretty wild yeah pretty interesting all right check out this guy i used to do a lot of pencil sketches too check out this dude right here this uh b-boy guy with the with the uh Kazal sunglasses right the Kazal sunglasses i wish i could get this sticker still that's pretty sick oh pilot jumbo pilot jumbo in the house very very cool but um yeah oh Cringy teenage poetry. Maybe I'll read you my cringy teenage poetry one day, but we won't do that today. Check out that character right there. Handsome man cat. <laughs> yeah, Kazals, man. That's what they were. Oh, there's my first slap right there. Check it out. It's my first slap. That's the original right there, homie. I made these at school. I snuck into the, to the computer room and stole a sticker paper, made my own stickers. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do it, homie. Um, and you know, I, I draw like chicks and stuff like that too. That's all pretty good. Uh, but let's let's get a little bit more deeper in here. Let's get a little bit more deeper in the hole. Okay, what what is going on here? <laughs> what is that? Is the audio off? What are you not hearing, homie? What are you not hearing? Do I need to turn it up? I'll turn it up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I think I was trying to be an edgy teenager. You know. Much like some of you guys are edgy teenagers in the Discord chat. And when I wasn't there this weekend, some edgy teenagers decided to flood my board with Lolicon and Shota and Gore because they thought it was funny. But I'm watching you, homie. I see what you're doing. And I will get you. <laughs> you think you're edgy? This is what I drew in 1990. <laughs> She's pretty hot though. <laughs> I was a weird kid. <laughs> oh look, he's got a Doc Martin on. <laughs> I was watching you, homie. <laughs> Oh, here's my, one of my wild style pieces. And again, you know, this is very much a tribal style, which had been out of style for quite some quite some time, really. Um, but now that we're in a later time period, I feel like we can maybe bring these tribal styles back because it's it's so old that it can be retro again. You know what I mean? So maybe I'll work on some stuff with this because I used to love really doing this tribal stuff, man. Somebody should have watched you. <laughs> Now, there's one thing I want to show you guys that, that I knew back in high school, that I knew back then. 
Who to seek it should be a crew. <laughs> yeah, it totally should, homie. <laughs> what era would, this was probably like 1992-ish, 92, 93 would be my guess. Um, check this out. But here's something I knew as a teenager that a lot of people don't know now that you guys need to know. Check this out. You see where the overlaps are right here? You notice the overlaps? You notice how it has like a little bit of a thicker 3D right there? Whenever you do your overlaps, you want to kind of thicken the 3D up over that part to give it a little bit more depth. If you guys look at it at an angle, you can kind of see it right there. Um, really helps out your wild style pieces. Don't forget the mini 3Ds. Very important stuff. But yeah, it's a pretty dope piece. Um, or shadow. Yeah, we call it shadow or mini 3D. Uh, another thing you can do too, Acer's correct, by the way. Acer's always right. And everybody in this chat is toy, including me, except for Acer. Okay, just get that clear. Uh, oh, also good news guys, uh, Acer and I have squashed our beef and I have made Acer a mod on the Discord. So now he can ban you guys for talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we'll get into some of that too. Uh, I'll finish up here real quick because I got to tag a homie's book for him. And then I want to do a bunch of stickers with you guys. Um, oh yeah, so these are some characters I used to do. Nanotech DJ, uh, low, dearth weight, low birth weight Dalai Lama. I, I was a crazy kid, man. <laughs> I was a pretty crazy kid. That dude is so cool though, man. Look at that little guy right there. Acer's the homie, man. I cannot wait to meet Acer. And him and I are going to do throw-ups over all your guys' stuff. I'm going to go to New York. We're going to find out where you guys live. And we're going to do throw-ups in front of your house. <laughs> Me and Acer, Team Supreme. Uh, yeah, I was, I was really into b-boy, but I was into punk rock back in the day, you know? It's kind of interesting. Anyways, let's, uh, let's filter through these. I got so many to show you. I got so many to do. Yo, check out this dude. Who's the chick at the bottom? I don't see her. <laughs> Look at this dude right here. His, his tongue is the key. So anyways, I hope this inspires you guys. We'll go through some more stuff later. Um, I got so much crap in here. It's not even funny. Look at this. I never finished this. Yes, I took acid a lot. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. I did take a lot of acid. <laughs> I should finish this, huh? We should finish this one. Yeah, it definitely changed me for the rest of my life. That's for sure. There's no doubt about that. Oh, I must, I must have, I must have missed her. Sorry. Oh, look, it's one of my girlfriends. Check out this dude. This was all Prismacolor, by the way, the old school Prismacolors. I used to love those markers, man. Oh, and this little character, I think I'm gonna bring him back. I called him Drunky Bear. He's like a little chibi dude. I might, I might rock that again. Have you ever done mushrooms? Oh yeah, I've done mushrooms. This is all definitely post-mushroom and acid stuff here. <laughs> the early stuff was pre-acid. Look how I did that blending right there. See, this was taking the blender right in the 3D, taking the blender in the 3D and just kind of dropping it in there. So you kind of create like a, like a stained, stained kind of paper kind of effect like that. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't see if you can see this here, but look, look at this drawing here. You see how small that is? All right, I'm gonna get something for scale here. So you guys can see exactly how small that drawing is. All right, here's a box cutter blade. Here's a box cutter blade. Look at that. I wish I had eyes like that. Now when I do the black book, everything's hella blurry and I have a hard time seeing it. But man, I used to be able to see like really, 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 really close. Very, very. Yeah, the car, little Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah. So anyways, um, we'll, we'll, we'll bust out some of the old stuff later. Oh, there's one of my old straight letters right there. One of my old straight letters. Yep, yep. Nice. Another little wild style piece right there. Basically just a crazy life of a young lad. That is for sure. All right, so anyways, I got this black book. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that little trip down memory lane. And yes, I probably did draw better then than I did now. <laughs> Although I could see a lot better than I do now. <laughs> but you know, the fun thing about this is, is um, oh, this is an order for Mike, by the way. He is on the chat. I'm not sure. Uh, eat more carrots, Karen. Why you gotta call me Karen, fool? <laughs> Shout out from Massachusetts. Shout out to the homies. Anyways, this is an order from Mike. And uh, he's got himself the GR Black Book kit. He just wanted me to do a throwy in it. And I was like, all right, I'll do a throwy in it, I guess. We'll, we'll hook you up with a little throwy here. Say what's up. Love the way you shell your art. All right. <laughs> When have I ever cared you guys? Never. Come on. All I do is support you bros, man. Get out, do some graffiti art, paint your name really big on the wall, tell everyone you're hella hype, hella sick. Everyone except you are toy. <laughs> All right. So the kid just wants a throwy. Should we give him a throwy, guys? Old school Karen. All right, he wants a throwy. What kind of, what color throwy should we do? What color should it be? Trippy throwy. Should we have the uh, heart, mind, soul guy let us know about the fill colors? Oh, why are you guys bullying that guy, by the way? Why are you guys bullying the hippie guy in Discord? This is a no bully zone. No bullying my Christian server. Should I do a spur throwy? <laughs> All right, we'll do a spur throwy. We'll do we'll do one of those. Sh should I do it in silver? Should we do a silver, homies? Do rock some silver. What about silver? All right, man. A hey, uh, Acer's gonna put us all down in Toys R Us crew. Uh, I'm going to start repping that. T-R-U. True. <laughs> Silver Spur. Silver Spur. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. How do I get in the Discord server? We'll put a link at the end of this. I'll let you guys know. We'll put a link, don't worry. I have to say I've been really enjoying the Black Book chat. I like seeing you guys piecing up your Black Books. And there's a lot of people asking questions about the markers and stuff. And uh, it looks like they're getting answered too, which is really dope too. So thank you to everyone that's participating and being a good sport. Um, there's been a couple buttholes on there. Uh, who's that kid? Idaho. I think. Uh, I think he's a. Uh, he's a. He's got. He's got a few screws loose or something. <laughs> he's a good kid. He's all right. He just needs to calm down. But I don't know. I think the server's doing all right. It did get a little bit wild this weekend. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can kind of get a better control over that, and it won't be so crazy in the future. Wyoming. Is he right in Wyoming now? All right. Well, whatever his name is. Wisconsin. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> he is a foo. And, and honestly, I don't mind it. I, I really don't mind it, but I just don't want the whole board, like, clogged up with people shit-talking each other. Like, shit-talking is, like is like peanut butter and jelly to graffiti. You know, we got to have a little shit talking because that's how we do it. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't want like some random customer popping in there and be like, ooh, these people are assholes. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, they sure are. <laughs> what do I think of Rust Etch? Um, I mean, it is what it is. If you're into being a butthole, go ahead and use it. I don't think it burns you as much as Glass Etch though, right? Love from New Zealand. What up, New Zealand in the house? What's up? How you doing? 
Homie said uh, a customer trying to paint their lawn chair. Yeah, I mean, we have people like that that jump in there and they probably think we're crazy. And I'm like, well, that's graffiti. You know what it's like? It's like, uh, was it what was that Adam Sandler movie where like he punches the dude and knocks him out and then the people are all freaking out and he's like, oh, it's football. You know what I mean? Like it was like, oh, that's what you do in football. And it's like graffiti is kind of like football like that. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Painting freights tomorrow. Oh, that's sick, homie. I'm glad you're going to go paint some freights. That sounds fun. Hell yeah. Yeah, I might get out of here a little early and go do some streakers. What's my all-time favorite marker? Ooh, why you got to ask me that? Um, for sketchbooks, for, for uh, tagging, what do you mean? Yeah, the water boy, that's right. <laughs> He, like, knocks that dude out. He's like, you went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> that movie is so damn funny, dude. Oh, my God. I crack up every time I watch that shit. Oh, Streaker? AP Streaker, of course. No question. <laughs> homie is watching from the school bathroom. That is such dedication. I respect that, homie. Hell, yeah. Honestly, I wish we could all be more like Adam Sandler. He's got a good vibe. <laughs> For sketchbook and tagging. Oh, okay, you can get a black. Um, well, honestly, you can use anything in a sketchbook, really, because obviously you can tag with these, but I'm just kind of, this thing's almost empty, so I'm trying to scratch fill it in right now. You could rock one of these in a sketchbook. Um, but, uh, you know, for sketchbook and tagging, maybe like a magic ink black would be a good one. Like the little black magic inks, uh, a uni, any of the uni shakers would be a good choice. Let's see. John Johnson says been throwing GR on some burners and SF. I'll send pics of it in. Oh shit. I, I would be super pumped to see that homie. Whenever people hit me off, I get super pumped. That's really cool. Favorite cap can combo of all time. Uh, probably burner chrome with a New York fat. It makes such nice tags on dark walls. What should you take on a night bombing? Well, I, first of all, I would take whatever you have. I mean, the graffiti writer is in the brain. It's not the tools, it's the brain, you know? The tools help you. But you know, you, you need to get out there and go do it. So take whatever you have and go out there and paint. Show the world who you are. All right, so we got this filled in. Kind of a scratchy fill, but whatever. Do a boom throw up. It's the muscle memories. Yeah, it totally is. What do I think of the Pilot Silver? You mean the little silver shaker? Those are sick, dude. You should totally get that. What is my favorite ink? Um, well, is there really a question? There's only one love in my life. Oh, wait, don't let my wife hear that. <laughs> what paint do I recommend? Uh, well, let's see here. I mean, if I'm doing production and piecing work or painting freights, I like the Molotov Premium and the Flame Orange. Uh, if I'm doing... Uh, just some simple stuff on the free wall. I'll just use whatever I got. Um, I use Acme for all around stuff, but that's generally what I use on the free wall or if I'm just doing some throw ups or something like that. But I've used Acme in professional work as well too. Uh, we should have the Molotov liquid chrome available. I haven't checked though, but we should have it. What was I writing again? Oh yeah, spur. I was like, what the fuck is that second letter right there? <laughs> Whatever happened to Yardmaster? I don't know, man. They just stopped making it. I don't know what the deal was with that. I'm not quite sure. I really don't know. All right, so let's let that dry for a minute.
All right. Paints or inks? Well, you need them both, homie. That's what it boils down to. For example, so like, say I'm working on a black book piece, right? Oh, this isn't my black book. Let me, let me grab something over here real quick. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so oftentimes, like for example, like this is, this is an ink marker right here that I have in my 3D, but I also have a paint marker for my outer outer. You feel me? And then there's a graphic marker in there. And I think that's a paint marker on the outline of the letters as well too. So I'm using both. Like I don't use one or the other. The, uh, the, the alcohol-based markers or the oil-based uh, graphic design markers, they cover a large area very quickly. So if you want to get a solid block of color, they're very important for that. Uh, the paint pens, you can do that as well too. Whoa, I scratched that with my fingernail. The paint pens, you can do that too. But the other thing about paint pens is you can go over stuff with them. For example, this is an oil-based paint pen. Now I can go over it with another another marker. Do you like Brother Lynch and, Miss, and Mr. Doctor? Oh yeah, Brother Lynch. Yeah, I haven't listened to him in a while. Um, that's that dude that does like the horror rap, right? He's the, the horror rap dude. Damn, this marker is on its last legs. Can I do it? Can I fill it up? Can I do it? Brother Lynch. Yep. Art Prima might have to order from... HR has me sold. Well, I hope you order from us, homie. If you do, uh, get the hit off. Uh, add the hit off to your order and I'll hit off your box. This is, this is actually a customer's sketchbook right now that he asked me to do a piece in, or not a piece, but a throw in. And uh, he just said, just do a throw in a tag. And I was like, well, I might as well put it on the live stream. You know what I'm saying? That way everyone can see. When was the last time I used cans? Um, probably about four or five weeks ago. The weather's just been really shitty right now, so I haven't been out too much. Um, I, I know I had some videos with cans recently where I did that runt piece. You guys saw that video, right? What's the shipping to Germany? I don't know, homie. Um, it's all automatically calculated by the computers, uh, but we can take a look at that. I did have some ideas about doing like a special for the next time we go to Europe, like some small pack deals, so we can ship them from Europe when we fly in there, make a little, little bit of deal here. Yeah, I feel you saying that you can't go a week without painting, but I have a baby now, homie, and it's like rainy weather over here. I'm a grown-up, man. You got you to gotta remember that. <laughs> I did that rent piece with you. You did? Oh, he painted while he watched me. Okay, I got you. Of course I can't crave this spray. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No doubt. But you know what? It gives me it gives me great pleasure to be here with you guys and rap at you, hear what you guys have to say, you know, get a little feedback from the people directly, like when I'm actually watching what you guys are saying, because it helps me stay in touch with things. It helps me like make sure my ego doesn't go too crazy. You know, it keeps me in check. You know what I mean? You guys keep me in check and I really appreciate that, you know? Ah, oh, I appreciate you too, homie. That's sick. Adulting sucks. I don't know about that. I mean, when you're young, it seems like it sucks, but it's, it's actually not that bad. I enjoy it rather much. I'll tell you what, last night, I had to do a bunch of shit around the house. And I wasn't really like watching the game, but I was kind of going back and forth watching the Seahawks game with uh, the Rams and the Buffalo Bills game. And then I was putting in a chandelier for my wife, which sounds super boomer. But bro, if you make her happy, she makes you happy. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a back and forth. So I'm just kind of working on some shit. I went outside, had a couple, couple shots of tequila, just enjoying my life. And I was like, fuck, it's so nice to be a grown up. Just hang out, drink some tequila on my deck. No one can tell me what to do. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. You're going to love it, guys. Trust me. Especially when you have kids. Don't listen to the people that tell you that having kids sucks. That is a lie. It is awesome. You got a little homie that you can teach all your shit to. When she gets older, she's going to be a great artist. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Yo, that shit is so true. All right. Let's go ahead and start outlining this bad boy.
All right, let's go ahead and fill this in here. All right. Yo, I'm about to graph up some prime rib. I had some grill. Yo, that sounds hella good, homie. I had a... Uh, I had chicharron tacos this morning. It was so good. But I have a feeling halfway through this live stream, which we're already halfway through, I may have like a sudden urge to poop. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> Exclusively for housing. Do, let's see. Kids are great at blessing even though they drive you crazy at times yeah 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 they do drive you crazy sometimes that's for sure everyone drives me crazy you guys drive me crazy sometimes on the discord i pop in the discord and i'm like what the fuck is going on here <laughs> yeah i'll take the phone in the bathroom that's right I think we got our outline ready. Let's go ahead and pop a little 3D. We should add a little color to this, right? Should we add some color to this, dudes? I think that'd be kind of fun. Acer says he's trying to make the Discord behave. I appreciate the effort, Acer. I appreciate it. Should we add some color to this? Add a little, little throw or, or outline or something like that? You trying to improve your J, homie? Just remember, a J is an L backwards with a little bit of curve. The Discord is the Wild West. Yeah, it kind of is. But, you know, I kind of like that. Let it be the Wild West for a bit. You know, in, in a couple months, it'll level out. and We'll have more mods. We'll have more things organized. The Black Book battles will be more organized. It'll be fine. I love, I love a little chaos at the beginning. A little bit of nuts, nutsy nuts some inappropriate behavior. It just kind of lets me understand where we stand as, as a whole, you know? So I'm okay with it, but just don't do it. <laughs> Does it need a red splash? Should I do a red splash? We could do that, we could do that. Yellow outer, red out. Oh yeah, we'll do red splash. We'll do a red splash with a yellow outer. Good job, good job, you guys did it. Go team. Oh, you guys have black book meetings in the SF? That's sick, homie. I'd love to go to that. GR Feet Picks channel. <laughs> Yo, I think I think uh, I think Twitch made a whole generation of young men into feet. I'm I'm thoroughly convinced of that. Shout out to DJ Dregs1. I don't know you, homie, but I'll check you out. Acer wants to know if I drop acid again. Only with Acer. I think I'm gonna make these a little thicker. Thicken these up a little bit. Yeah, I may be I may be looking for more mods, but not quite yet. But I'll let you guys know when we are. Lime green outer with purple. Yo, that might be good too. We'll, we'll take a look at that. 
thick like GR and his green covers all. <laughs> I'm a thick boy. I'm a thick boy. That's for sure. You know, I just hope that I hope what I make is entertaining to you guys. You have a good time. We joke around. You know, it's cool. All right. Do a red splash here. Big spur in the house. All right. Came here in the middle of my outline. Oh shit. Don't forget your outline, homie. Don't forget your outline, dog. Do you guys have that homie? He's always like, yo, can I borrow a little bit of your white for my shines, homie? And I'm like, it's the only can I have. Don't worry, I'm just gonna use a little bit. And then he brings you back like a half empty can. We all have friends like that. <laughs> <laughs> What about the homie that like bumps into your piece a little too much and then you end up fighting? <laughs> he was just trying to test you. <laughs> my boys bum markers. Bro, I, when I had my legs broken, both of my legs broken, I couldn't walk. I was like in a couch for like six months, you know? And it was cool. Cause like everyone came to visit me. They'd hang out and drink 40s with me and smoke me out and stuff like that. And I had like a, a whole like parade of women that would come and take care of my needs because they like a broken man. <laughs> Which was pretty dope. But everyone was always stealing my lighters. And you know, the thing about lighters is like, I don't think people mean to steal them. They're just the way they're shaped. They just make you want to put them in your pocket and walk out. And so everyone would leave and I'd be sitting there on my couch with no damn lighter. And I was like, how am I going to spark up? You know, like, what the fuck? They always steal my lighter. So I ended up having to take like this gigantic like spoon and taping my lighter to it so people wouldn't put it in their pocket. So thankfully that fixed it. I was like, God damn, some friends, man. Then I had this one, this one dude, this b-boy that was so broke. He used to like come to my house and smoke the resin out of my pipe. He would like scrape all the resin out. I was like, thanks for cleaning my pipe, I guess. But geez, we have real weed here. Such weird, weird behavior by people. <laughs> it's the lighter game. <laughs> no, that, I'll have to say everyone was really cool back then. They were really cool to me. You know, I didn't have any family really. So it was cool to have people like help me out. My buddy Niles, he like, he emptied out my pee thing once. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I had to pee in like a little bucket. <laughs> Scraping resin. I know, it's so gross, dude. It's like, dude, it's like pure tar in your lungs, homie. Oh yeah, Beer Vader. How does this guy know about Beer Vader? <laughs> All right, so we used to play this game called Beer Vader, and uh, we'd have like a 12 pack of beer. And it was, it was basically the last person that drank the last beer, they had to put the box on their head and we'd all beat you up. And if you were able to stand it, you wouldn't have to buy the next 12 pack. But if you did get beat up and you weren't able to stand it, then you had to buy the next 12 pack. So it was a way to like get people to buy beer and strengthen their muscles at the same time. It worked pretty good. It was a lot of fun. That was the house that my mop ink exploded in. <laughs> All right. Oh, you dropped a big squeeze? It uh, probably made a huge mess, man. There we go. What's my message for the youth? Um, never let anybody tell you what your graffiti means. Always be creative. Believe in yourself motivated find the right woman that will raise your children
Don't listen to outside noise and be respectful. Sometimes, sometimes that outside noise can be helpful, though. You know what I mean? It could be someone trying to tell you what you need to hear. Oh, also, be okay with uncomfortable truths and try to avoid nice-sounding lies. Because there's a lot of nice-sounding lies out there. <laughs> They don't have Molotov at Michael's, that's for sure. I don't think they even know what it is. It fills everyone's hearts with joy that I'm a father. Yeah, me too, man. People have no idea how awesome it is. We're living in like this like dysgenic generation where everything is like going backwards right now. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a kid, fuck it. Fuck it. And uh, it was the best decision I ever made, bar none. She is so funny, cracks me up every morning. Molotow or Posca, Molotow any day of the week, not just because we sell them. It's a better system with better nibs, refills, all that good stuff. I would take that any day of the week. All right, well, we're gonna do an outer outer. I think we're gonna do an outer outer, right? And I want to clean up the insides a little bit, maybe. Come back with some silver in the inners. A little silver inner clean up here. Clean up an aisle three. Oh, I think that's still wet. Maybe I should wait for that to dry. We do sell Posca, that's true. You're absolutely right, we do sell Posca. Yeah, the Molotovs are better. Oh, you made yourself a little mini mop? What'd you put in your mini mop, homie? What's in your mini mop, bro? Oh shit, you lost your dad? I'm sorry, homie. Yeah, I lost my dad too. He had a pancreatic cancer, man. There's no cure for that, you know? So he would have had to spend the rest of his life on, you know, whatever that stuff was called. And he was just like, you know, I just don't want to do it anymore, which I totally respect, but it just kind of sucks. You know, sometimes the universe just throws the worst crap at you. But, uh, oh, I think my battery died on my speaker. Holy, holy moly. Sorry, homies. All right, hold on one second. I'm gonna play it out of the computer and I'll get this thing plugged in. It was warning me the battery was about to die, but I wasn't listening. Um, you know, bottom line, the, un the universe will throw so much crap at you. That's why I, I try to like at least center myself these days. And, and like I said, I don't really know what I, I don't wanna say I don't know what I believe. I just don't know if what we believe is true. And I don't wanna tell people what I think is true because it may not be true for you. You know what I mean? But you gotta find some kind of higher power to, to, uh, to give that up to because the human body wasn't meant to maintain all this stuff, you know? That's why when you see an old atheist, they're all miserable and angry. <laughs> I live in a city full of them, I should know. Uh, hold on, let me get plug in the speaker here real quick. <laughs> Let's plug in the speaker. I need to get a bigger speaker too, man. <laughs> Sorry, I like to troll. See my blood. Yeah, I think the kingdom's within anybody, you know? But like, I don't want to judge, you know, like if someone's into like, whatever, Islam, Buddhism, whatever, it's, it's for you, you know? Only, only you know what works for you. And I, I don't want to judge people, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's uh, let's see here. Let's plug the speaker back in. Just give me one second here. This oh oh, Acer's got some philosophy here. I got to see this here. The sun is the light of the world. It's God's sun, not God's sun. There's no middleman. The sun rises. Yo, that's like some Egyptian Ra shit, dude. I love that. That's sick. You know, maybe I'll just become ancient Egyptian religion. I'll just I'll just worship Ra. I'm in Ra. <laughs> <laughs> I love hardcore. It's great paint. I'd love to sell it again. All right, what did I do with that yellow, homie? All right, there it is. 
Homie's down with jaw. All right. You guys think uh, the black Hebrew Israelites will let me join? Or they, they will not let me join? <laughs> I don't know if I was Egyptian in a, in a past life, but I'm pretty sure I was Roman. I have this affinity to ancient Rome. I don't know what it is, but I also have that to Egypt as well too. But I feel it in the Rome. I really do. I don't know. I've seen some weird stuff in my life, like UFOs and stuff like that. There's there's so, so much wild mystery in the world for me to just be like, oh, we just live in this materialist universe and it's just like that. Like, I just can't believe that we live in a world like that. I've experienced so many things in psychedelics. I've had dreams and visions of things that, and it can't just be chemicals in the brain. And if you want to think of it as a material things like chemicals in your brain, that's fine. Uh, if you want to suffer like a dog the rest of your life, that's fine too. Uh, <laughs> But I like to believe in something a little bit more mystical and a little bit more sublime. You feel me? Anyways, what were we talking about? Graffiti? That's right. <laughs> See, that's why I like doing these videos, because we can riff about stuff, you know? It's great stuff, man. L25 is medicine. Yes, I agree. I agree. It should be legal, and there should be places where people can do it safely with the supervision of someone who's experienced and sober and that can lead you on your journey because without that it can lead to a bad trip you know it's really important to have the time and place and the right people around you to do it and instead of sending all that money to ukraine why don't we have like chill rooms for people to do mushrooms and lsd and let's spend a billion dollars on that i'll get behind that <laughs> Yeah, I heard it was legal in SF. Um, how do you get it though? Is there like a dispensary or something like that? How do you, how do you get access to it? Homie said he melted himself. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Oh no. Homie had a dream and his father told him pantheism. Yes, yes. <laughs> My father, Amenhotep. <laughs> Yo, think about Okay, you know, you know how I love purple ink You guys love purple ink That was the original color of kings for a reason Because the Phoenicians used to take this special snail That they found in the Mediterranean And it would take like 200,000 of these snails To extract this purple dye They had to kill 200,000 snails To make one ounce of this purple ink That they would dye their clothes with It was more valuable than gold purple dye and that's why it's in our blood now to love the perp because it's, it's a symbol of royalty a symbol of power a symbol of regalness a symbol of the king of the streets <laughs> crazy stuff man um I'll, I'll 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 get into the history of royal purple one of these days man it's it's very fascinating the phoenicians were fascinating people too cough suppressant <laughs> Man, I hope you guys aren't doing lean out there. Don't do that stuff, man. It's one thing to expand your mind. It's another thing to destroy it. It's crazy to think, though, that, you know, he who has the gold makes the rules. You know, that, that old saying from olden times, you know, he who has the gold makes the rules. The king had all the gold. You know, that was the symbol of wealth and power back then. But to have something more valuable than gold and to wear it as clothing that would eventually just wear out and you throw it away, you know, that's that's ultimate power, ultimate wealth. What do I think of nitrous oxide? Oh, hippie crack? Man, I don't know. I mean, I did it in high school and I, I'm probably isn't that bad for you in small doses, but it's pretty gross to see people... Um, when they get like addicted to it and they're just huffing it all the time, it's pretty disgusting, honestly. Best homemade ink formula? Well, I'm not gonna give you my secrets. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with Rusto. Can't go wrong with that. What did I not do? What did I not do? Um, I never went to Dubai.
Yo, GR, am I late? No, you're not late, homie. You're fine. You're here. You're here. We're just doing a throwy for a customer. Yeah, I, I definitely wasn't as crazy as Steve-O, but we did some crazy stuff, that's for sure. Oh, I, uh, I used to have to fight skinheads. That sucked. <laughs> that was pretty whack. I hated doing that. But you got to do what you got to do sometimes. They would come to the punk shows and act like assholes to everyone, so we'd have to fight them. But, you know, it was a little bit different back then. It was more like youth tribe against youth tribe. You know what I mean? <laughs> make some comedy. I used to make a bunch of comedy skits, but everyone complained. Back, w back, back when I was making some comedy skits, people got really mad because I was poking fun at people. They, they got upset. Which is really weird because people make fun of me all the time and I don't even care. I'm just like, whatever. I have like a hard time understanding that, you know? Like, I don't get offended. Actually, I take that back. When people tell me, when people accuse me of something I didn't do, I get very offended, for sure. Yeah, I think the colors pop pretty good. The, the hard thing about doing these is like shit is still wet for so long. And so I'm trying to, I'm trying to like do this while I'm talking and, you know, I have to deal with all these wet stuff. So I might, I might, I might next time do like a couple drawings at once so we can go back and forth. A McDonald's throwing. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit like rock and roll McDonald's, doesn't it? That's all right though. I like rock and roll McDonald's. What yellow is this? This is the Molotov uh, zinc yellow. It's their main yellow. I think you guys really enjoy using it. It's, it's a great yellow. It co covers really good. The silver is the Unibroad PX20 uh, classic silver shaker. This one's kind of running out of ink though, but I was able to make it, make it run. Uh, this is a Uni PX21, which is the fine point. Very nice. Ketchup and mustard type beat. Have you guys heard that one? It's a... Um, What's that commercial? 1-800-588. Oh, what is that commercial? I can't think of it right now. Oh, Empire. Empire type beat. Yeah, that's it's got it's definitely got a lot of zinc in that yellow for sure. Anyways, have you guys heard the Empire type beat? Can I play it for you guys? Can I play the Empire type beat? Hold on one second. I gotta play it for you guys. Empire type beat. This shit slaps on me. <laughs> it's on YouTube, Empire Type Beat. Eight hundred five eight eight two three hundred. Empire, I am the best in the game. Don't you even step to me. Everyone's a toy except my homie Acer. He's the base baster, stepping on your haters. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love you so much. I'll have to think of a rap. Sorry, guys. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot about that. Wait, how much look? Oh my god. Okay, I think there's only one in there. <laughs> I think there's only one of them in that song. <laughs> I did not know that was in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, this cracks me up so much.
All right, I got to give a shout out to the guy that made this. Uh, this is Z on the beat. It's X, X O X on the beat, Z on the beat, man. The homie. <laughs> yeah, I, I did panic a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, next time I'm going to download that and fix that. Sorry. <laughs> Empire Book Challenge tonight. All right, this is a GameCube type beat. No, 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 hold on. I got a better one. You guys ever heard microwave type beat? <laughs> this is a microwave type beat. <laughs> Oh, did he really? Yeah, I like Z on the beat, man. He's sick. Z on the beat makes some good stuff. Is it Z on the beat or X on the beat? I thought it was Z on the beat, but I don't know. I don't know nothing. I just find stuff on YouTube that makes me laugh. All right, guys, should we put some shines in there? Oh, we, we need to give Acer his, uh, his outer outer, too. See, this doesn't hit quite as well as the other. The, uh, the Empire one just cracks me up so much. Oh, do you guys like Yellowmon? You guys like Yellowmon? You guys like that? I'll play it if you guys like it. Okay, we're listening to Yellowmon. <laughs> when this one called the volcano eruption, she are on the beat. You guys know Yellowman? This guy is my life goal right here. I just want to be like him when I'm old. What is the number? I didn't answer. What is the number? I still don't answer. What is the number, boy? I still don't answer. It broke up in Me move up. Then me start to answer. Yo, fire in the chat. I hope the chat is fire. You guys always say the funniest stuff, dude. Hell yeah. 64. 46 BMW. He said, give it to me one time. Give it to me two times. Give it to me three times. You guys like Sublime? Nobody get hurt. Nobody They covered this. Nobody get hurt. Not the Gonyan, not the Gonyan dirt. He comes from the planet of Earth. This song is called Nobody Move, Nobody Get Hurt by Yellowman. Yeah, NWA sampled it. Uh, Sublime covered it. A bunch of people sampled it. It's a classic cut. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. They knew them are dressed up in a white collar shirt. And some of them wear it till it resembles dirt. He said... He want me to join the army. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. No way. I ain't gonna do it. Turn down to the pocket. I'm searching for a comb automatic. I'm searching if you have any ratchet. Can I play Young Spinach? Yeah, we might play that. Let me see what else is in here. I did not answer. What is the number? I still don't answer. What is the number? Let's see what else is in here. I really don't answer. It can't come to Hold on, I got something else I want to listen to. Yes, I'm say. 64, 46, BMW, oh, yeah, yeah. 64, 46, BMW. I had a BMW that I loved, but I hated that part at the same time. I was always repairing it. <laughs> now I drive a Toyota. <laughs> Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. 
Mm, okay. So let's do some shines, homie. Let's rock some shines. I ain't going to do it. I want to listen to this. And now for the final story in today's news. History was made in the Redland Magistrates Court recently when Jamaica's number one, he said, the internationally acclaimed yellow man appeared to court of mine in the face of certain rights. Yellow man was his... There we go. Play Smoke Two Joints. Oh, yeah, that's a classic, man. I do like that song for sure. Welcome to Jam Rock. I know. I have a thing for electro, guys. I think it's my fetish. This is my main job. This is all I do. I get paid to do this. Can you believe it? So crazy. <laughs> uh, as far as the elements of hip hop, I don't feel like graffiti is ever, it's, it's always included in the elements of hip hop. And I feel like hip hop often uses graffiti for their album covers and stuff. But a lot of the times I've been called on by, I'll call the cops on me. It was, was at hip hop clubs by B-Boys and stuff. Cause I tagged on the tour van of a, of a group or tagged in the alley. <laughs> and I'm like, I thought we were a team here. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> We are breaking, homie. We breaking in this house. Where's that yellow at? I think it would be really sick if young kids now got into breaking like they did in the 80s. I think that would be really dope. Yeah, it definitely makes you want to wear... Well, it's funny you mentioned that you, it makes you want to wear matching jackets because that's definitely what they're doing. <laughs> Dude, that fit is so sick. That fit is so sick. I want to dress like that every day. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's put some shines in this. I think I got a fairly new nib on this white. Let's, uh, let's check it out here. Yeah, definitely beat street vibes for sure. There we go. Electric Boogaloo. Why did I fall for the only illegal element of hip hop? <laughs> My radical idea is that graffiti is not part of hip hop. It's its own thing that existed before hip hop, but it became integrated into hip hop in the 80s. And hip hop is not hip hop anymore. So graffiti should just exist as its own thing outside of hip hop. That's my radical idea. Damn taggers. Oh, 
80% is spot on. <laughs> I still love hip hop. Obviously, I still love hip hop. You know, that's definitely my blood, you know. All right. How we looking, boys? We should do some shines for Acer, right? I think we should. Let me just clean up this a little bit. Just a little bit more depth. I feel like that yellow cut in there a little bit too much. There we go. That looks better. It doesn't really matter really, but I like doing stuff like that. Just to kind of give it, just to even up the lines, you know what I mean? Especially when you're doing these black books, because sometimes it's so hard to see what the hell I'm doing. All right. Okay. All right, homies. Uh, so it looks like we got the spurred acer. This is for a customer who bought this black book, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that earlier. I give people love. There we go. That was bothering me. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna hit off a little GR in the corner right here, just to give him a little bit of love. All right. All right, I'm gonna do hit off a couple names up here too. He wants me to write Toy Over the Acer. No, this is a book for a kid. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I have to be careful. These kids are so sensitive. You, you call them toy and it ruins their whole week. <laughs> I have to do like trigger warnings before saying toy now. Rome. Oh, I, I like that name, Rome. Rome is a good word, man. I really like the word Rome. Uh, okay, one crew hit off right here. One crew hit off right here. One crew. I already got Rome, homie. One crew hit off. One crew. S E L S E L. I already got S O L. I already, I already got that. I already got that. No, no. Crew name. Crew name. LPM. Okay. A little happy face to finish it off. All right. So I think we're done, homies. All right, that's pretty cool. We got a little sketch for the homie's black book. I think he'll really enjoy it. You know, just a little quickie, just to give him a little shout out, give him a little bit of love. Um, you know, if you guys order your sketchbooks, I'll be happy to do it for you too. You just got to give me some time. Like I can't just do it at the drop of a hat. You know what I'm saying? And I can't always do it because sometimes I'm not here, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Uh, more often than not, I'll probably hook it up for you, you know? Uh, and then of course, if you need dedications for like birthdays and stuff like that, I can do that for a small fee as well too. So if you want like a happy birthday or something, just hit me up. He will not be stoked. Oh, he will be stoked. <laughs> it's like, he will not be stoked. 
I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah, I like these pilots too, man. Uh, these are one of the cheapest markers we carry. I think they're like a buck, maybe like a buck 25. They're excellent markers. But they got these little chisels. The one thing I'll tell you about these pilot chisels when you get them brand new, let me zoom in on it here real quick. So when they're brand new, the, the, the tip isn't quite flat when they're new. So when you get a new one, you kind of have to work it on paper a little bit to kind of get the nib nice and sharp. But once you do, man, that thing runs. And also, um, I highly recommend getting a bottle of Black Pilot with this and just act, act, ugh, act, 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 act right, GR. Add a little bit of a Pilot to it because they're not quite as juicy as I like them right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. So anyways, uh, yeah, this is the homie's book and I'm zoomed in hella close. There we go. Sketchbook for the homie. He's going to love that. And this is uh, just a little shout out. This is the sketchbook 11 by 14. Some people didn't know what 11 by 14 looked like in the uh, chat earlier when we were in the Discord. So I wanted to show this to you guys. And it is 11 by 14 is like basically almost two cans tall. It's almost two cans tall and about a can and a third wide. So it's a good size sketchbook. It'll do you well. And it comes with this kit right here. This is all in the GR kit. You get three Copics. You get a couple markers. Uh, you get some stickers. It's a cool kit. So anyways, let me uh, let me get situated here. I know some people wanted to do a QA, so we can do that. Let's do a QA real quick. All right, where's the phone thing here? What up, how you guys doing? There's Biscuit. <laughs> what up, man, how you guys doing? Um, I like to do these little Q and A's at the end of the video. Uh, that way, if you guys have any questions, I'll, uh, I'll go through them real quick. Hit up the AP for the deal. Yeah, it's on the website for sure. When are we sorting out that Bahrain? Oh, is that the dude from Bahrain? Yeah, I'm super into it. Can you hit me up on Instagram? It's at grreviews2. You may be hitting up my old account, at grreviews, which is locked by Instagram. I have no access to it. So at grreviews2 is my new account. Uh, let's see, Chaos says, what's up? How you doing, Chaos? Uh, what style would you say your hand style is based on? It's a little bit SF. It's a little bit New York. It's a little bit Seattle. Uh, I would say that's what it is. Everyone's got a little bit of New York in it. Let's just face it. Uh, but that's kind of what it is. Do I know KCBR from Zurich? I love their video. The first one was really good. The second one, not so much. Um, yeah, shoot me a text at GR Reviews 2. At GR Reviews 2. The only difference is the two. Rome says he's going to hit me up. Yeah, hit me up, homie. That's dope. I'll check my requests, too. Yeah, sometimes things do fall into there. Chaos says, uh, he says, uh, sorry, the thing's going up here. Damn, a year sober. Congratulations, homie. I still like to drink myself a little bit, but, you know, obviously I keep it under control, but I get it. Uh, Lokes says toy. Uh, thank you very much. What up, GR? Stopping by to say what's up. Peace. Uh, sending stickers. Yo, that's sick. Thank you for sending stickers, homie. Wow, this is cool. It's not even questions. It's just people saying what's up, <laughs> which is cool. I like that. I like seeing that. Hell yeah. Oh, sh say what's up to Biscuit. She's uh, she's over there. Biscuit. Biscuit, what are you doing, bud? <laughs> I will put a link for the Discord down below, so don't worry about that. OTR should be in business still, as far as I know. Uh, we have sold the, one of the $5,000 bundles, yes, to a crew that I will not main, name. Uh, let's see, art class right now, and the homie's going to hit up Art Primo in Seattle tomorrow. Oh, that's sick, man. Hell yeah. How old are you when I first did graffiti? I was probably like 12, somewhere like that. I saw some tags, and I wanted to copy it. I thought it was really cool. Um... Coolest place I traveled hopping freights. Um, we almost went to Canada on accident one time. I wouldn't say that's the coolest, but I almost illegally entered Canada, which was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I have a video of Chino, but the audio is really bad. There was some kind of fan in the background that messed up the audio. Like maybe my mic like picked it up. So I got to figure out how to fix it. Yes, yeah, what's up to Biscuit? She's just sleeping. Whenever I do these videos, she just chills here. Favorite marker ink combo, uh, a uni broad with uh, marsh ink and a little bit of black pilot will do you just great. Excellent condo combo. I'm like shaking my head. No, excellent combo for sure. 
Next stream, can you write Zorak? Ooh, that's a cool name. I'll write it on the table. I can't promise I'll remember it, but it does sound pretty cool. So I'll write it down and do my best to remember. I, I don't remember things all the, often all the time. Like, I forgot about the Chino interview, which I shouldn't, but I did. I forget about all kinds of stuff. Have I been on an interview with the Graffiti Podcast? No, I have not. I would, though. I'd do it. Sure, why not? Yes, I've seen the alcohol-based unis, and I have no interest in them whatsoever. <laughs> What tactical snacks? I had chicharron tacos this morning. They were delicious, uh, but my stomach's starting to burble, which means I probably got a, a big vo volcano of poop coming out in a minute. <laughs> I was asking Chino when he was here, when the interview was going up. Oh yeah, I do apologize. Green Rogan, yes. What's my favorite video game? You know, I don't really play that much anymore because I don't have a lot of time, but what I do find myself doing, and I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, uh, but I'll pop into a Fortnite game and shoot at kids. <laughs> but it's just so easy to pop in and out of, you know? <laughs> and they get hella mad because I can still play Fortnite pretty decently. <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed I said that. <laughs> I don't care. It's a fun game. Fortnite is a fun game. I don't care. <laughs> Homie says he's skipping school to go paint. Yeah, I feel that. Am I rocking a do-rag? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Homie's dead because of the Fortnite. Chino rolled on me in the 80s. Whoa, that is a crazy story, Acer. Has having a kid changed my inclination on bombing? No, not really. I mean, I was already like had a bit more of an adult aspect of things before that. So it hasn't gotten that, uh, <laughs> paint at school, <laughs> GR smacking kids on horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still all right uh, on the, uh, uh, PVP stuff. I can still, I can still do it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see where this goes. Maybe when, maybe when I'm older and I have more time, we can do some video game streams. Um, do I know a good video with crews bombing? You know, I would check out, they're very hard to find on YouTube, but uh, the old videograph videos are really good. I would highly recommend those. Yeah, I mostly hit freights these days. I don't know how to pronounce balo. Balo? Balo. Like biscuit does not approve. <laughs> yeah, chalk is like 50. <laughs> yes, I still do some bombing, mostly freights these days. <laughs> one up, yeah, one up crew's sick. Used to bomb with Chaka, John Johnson. Whoa, that's sick. Hell yeah, dude. Old school legend. Do I like Stomp Down? I mean, I don't like them or dislike them. They, they do some quality work, that's for sure. What's the best state to pursue a music career? Probably LA. I would go to LA or New York. Thoughts on fresh paint? I don't know if they make it anymore. I thought they stopped making it. I will not tell you how to find freight spots. Stay out of the freight yards. Those are for old men. <laughs> Yeah, Biscuit's got the right idea. Look at her, man. She's just chilling. <laughs> She's just like, whatever, dude. I'm sleeping all day. Yo, do not buy a Supreme marker. <laughs> uh, cities like SF in New York, usually what I'll do is I'll meet up with somebody that knows the area really well. Because, I mean, I used to live in the, like by the bay, but... I mean, obviously it's been years. So usually I'll go and I'll meet up with some writers that are that are hitting over there and I'll go paint with them and I'll just go wherever they go. That's pretty much how I do it. Have I heard of a crew called FY in Sweden? Uh, no, I have not, but I'll look them up. Chaka doing well. I'm glad to see he's doing well. Yeah, Biscuit's just chilling. I took Biscuit for a walk earlier and I was throwing the ball, so she's kind of tired. How do you feel about Crink? I have no good... Ex well, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're using it for. Um, Crink is a very large brand. Uh, I think his stuff is a little pricey, but there's a customer who wants that and they'll pay for it, so get it. For the average street bomber, um, I would just recommend getting an empty drip mop and just filling it with your own ink and you'll be much happier. Have I ever been to Denmark? No, I haven't been to Denmark. I'll listen to that song, I can't quite read it. 
it's for some reason it's a little blurry. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see very well. Uh, GR start, stands for GR Reviews. Uh, I started by doing reviews on YouTube and I had this Lucha Libre mask I would wear because at the time I was still an active writer and I was kind of feeling kind of crunchy about it because some stupid uh, street art person went on the news and told them my real name and my graffiti name at the same time so I'd wear this mask. Also, I was trying to stop doing cocaine at the time and I was feeling very weird and wiry and just not in a good position in life. So it was like a whole weird thing. So I wore this mask, but then it kind of became a meme. And then people started calling me the Graffiti Green Ranger. And, and I went from there. Thankfully, I don't do, don't do those drugs anymore. But yeah, it was a hard time in my life. It was wild when the mask came off. Yeah. <laughs> Nose beers. <laughs> Underbridge putting in work. I'll have to go check that out. Hey, Biscuit's butt. There we go. Yeah, I, I like to be real with people, you know? Like, I'm not gonna lie about my past and things that I've done. I don't think it's good to lie about that stuff. Um, but at the same time, I'm not gonna like say it was cool. Like, it was a bad time in my life, for sure. <clears throat> but you grow, you grow and learn, you know? Oh yeah, I did that My Pillow guy thing. You know, that was before he became like a political guy. It was just a story about him like, getting off of drugs and stuff like that. So I did that whole thing. And then he became like a political guy. And then everyone started accusing me of being QAnon or some shit. It's so retarded. <laughs> like, I'm trying to relate to people here, not get involved with your stuff. <laughs> I don't know anything about Romanian writers, um, but I'll look into it. I'll check them out. I promise I will. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I agree. Daniel's correct. We wouldn't be here without the mistakes we made, you know? Yeah, and that's another thing. I really don't want politics on the Discord from any side, really. Uh, I noticed some people were kind of talking about politics, and ra I'd really just rather avoid it. Uh, basically, no isms on the Discord. Uh, maybe I'll tell you about some of my beefs one day, but not today. Um, when's the next Black Book session? We'll do another one tomorrow, absolutely for sure. I wasn't feeling good last week, so... I'll get back into the game, and uh, I think uh, I think we'll do a couple more this week. At least two or two or three more this week for sure. Absolutely. I'll put a link for the Discord at the end of the video for you guys, so you guys can check it out. All right. So I think I've answered enough questions. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. You guys are super dope. It's always great to see you guys in the chat. Uh, even just the lurkers, if you're just here to kind of check things out, you know, feel free to pop in the chat anytime and say what's up. Uh, AP sent my order through USPS with the shipments. Yeah, I don't know about Bahrain, man. Give us an email, artprimo.com at gmail.com. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Uh, the Bahrainian homie hit me up at GR Reviews 2 at GR Reviews 2. I'll see you guys soon. Shout out to Acer. Congratulations for being a mod. And look at my fingers. This is why I wear gloves. This is why I wear gloves, guys. <laughs> All right. See you guys later.